Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play Mega Man 6 on the Series GG. If you're still with me after that disaster of a last video, I thank you. I didn't end up taking a long break to rest my thumb. I just, <laughs> I just ran, went potty, got a video started, and figured let's hold on to whatever Mega Man 6 expertise I built up in the last video before it drains away and use it against Tomahawk Man. His defense is lower, but he has solar power and he is master of Tomahawk, so. Our journey to the restricted area might be quite dangerous. You know, it looks like it's Texas, by the way. Oh. Tom Hawkman has got cowboys who work for him. Which is nice, I suppose. Tomahawk wielders and cowboys, not always allies. But here, we can see they are all working together in the interest of having a single Wild West themed stage. I have to bear in mind, I have a uh, rush jet. I could have checked to see if there were secrets over there, but I probably would have simply found death. Here's another enemy type that always got me nervous. Didn't start showing up until like five, four or five, but they were like constant once they were there. Does this thing take damage? Does this machine take damage? Or am I just supposed to beat a certain number of you guys? Oh, I see. This section of it takes damage. Now, this seems like an enemy against whom you could grind for health, but, uh... Oh, I probably don't have any lives in reserve either, do I? Yep. We don't have the full set of lives because we... had our challenges with Plant Man. So I'm not even going to get to figure out where the uh, continuation point is. I'm just going to die. And you know, Mets are cute and all, but um, I I just find myself really irritated by all these. They give you a Mega Buster, and then like half the damn enemies in the game are immune to it. Okay, so there's multiple paths here, and we... Oh, that's right, this game had the weird-ass... Uh... Jet Mega Man, and like there's also one where he's like Punch Mega Man or whatever. And his, uh, and I forgot about this completely. His, um, in this game, Jet, like it, it comes back. Yeah, actually, I remember that part. Of, I thought that part of this game was really neat, but, um, they didn't really do anything with it in any of the other games. A little bit of a leap of faith involved there. This is all well and good until an enemy shows up. That you weren't ready for it and it knocks you back and you're instant death. But that was certainly worth it. This zone is certainly worth a visit. slide with the jetpack, though, can you? There's definitely something going on where... Or if you're not using the, uh... I got completely lost what I was trying to say. Sorry. <laughs> I had something I was saying. He has no charge shot, and he can't slide. But he's got this. Which is... I, yeah, I think it's pretty cool. I, I enjoy it. One up, well, well timed power up there. And I'm now remembering what power up it is that breaks stuff. It's the Mega Man. He's got like this Mega Man like muscle guy suit that I don't really remember how you acquire. I mean, I'm sure it's similar to the Rush Jet. You just, there's a certain stage where you get it as a bonus. Let me through, guys. Just let me through. Okay, this could go a lot smoother than the last stage did. We have one life with, like, no chance whatsoever that we're going to beat him here. So I'm just going to have to go straight to Plant Buster next time, which is his weakness, which I know because I checked. 
I'm not gonna lie about it. Because <laughs> he throws... I guess he just stands there and throws different shit at you. But his stage didn't didn't bother me nearly. And having the rush jet helped a lot, but his stage didn't bother me nearly as much as Plant Man's did. So. There you go. That's more like it. That's more like what one of these Mega Man uh, series videos is supposed to be like. I didn't even remember to start my timer, but I'm pretty sure that wasn't 40 minutes. Let me just make sure I bothered to hit record, since I was forgetful enough not to hit my timer. We got Silver T. Which is a tomahawk. Oh, I sure hope I hit my timer, or my record button, because I'm realizing I didn't hit the timer. I did, okay. So it's time for stage select. We're gonna go ahead and throw down a save game, and that's just that's just way more like what I'm wanting this series to be about than uh, that Plant Man video was, for crying out loud. All right, when we come back next time, guys. Next boss is going to be let's see, Yamo Yamato Man, I believe. Yeah. Um, so we beat Yamato Man, and um, he is in the impregnable fortress, according to this fact which is on MegamanFandom.com, so you know it's for reals. And when we come back next time, we will be penetrating the impenetrable fortress, whatever Yamato Man says. Be there for that.